Hello. Today we are getting to know the new pattern chessboard. The pattern is not difficult, but I think that it deserves our attention because it is very convenient for using in different articles. It will not suit for a casket because the fine details are going to fall out, but for small cash ports, for magazine baskets or vertical supports for paper, for big boxes, this pattern seems to me irreplaceable. First of all, it is beautiful. Secondly, it lets uh, the scene kept uh, in it breathe. So, let's get into know how to view the pattern chessboard. And as usual, let me tell you a couple of words on my experience concerning the peculiarities of weaving this pattern. The intervals between the poles are very important. On the big box, the thick poles and big squares look nice. Here I have made the intervals between the poles similar, and it looks much worse. I mean that the size of the squares have to correspond to the size of the article. The smaller the article is, the shorter the intervals and consequently the smaller the squares have to be. I like this article more. Here I've used the thinner tubes, made the intervals between the squares smaller and I like the result better. And of course the smaller the squares are, the more interesting and airy the article looks. The article is not vanished yet. I'd like to weave one more vertical support for paper, but this time in two colors. At first I have prepared the bottom, I have papered the cardboard, have woven six rows in the technique of direct opposite rope. I have also prepared such a form beforehand. I've taken several books for children of the same format, fixed them with a painter's tape. It will not spoil the books. We will just take the sticky tape off afterwards. And as a result I have got such a form. We have woven six rows. Then I have tucked one of the working tubes in, like we usually do when finishing, and started weaving the pattern with the second one. One of the tubes is inserted, with the other one we start weaving the first element. Like we usually weave the holders, we are already familiar with all these techniques. Here we have to define the number of the coils at once. We have to get the number of the coils required to get a square. For big baskets with big intervals between the poles it can be one quantity, for the small articles it will be less. Usually it is three or four coils. Look, one, two, three coils. So far it is enough. The next step. We insert the tube. I'd like to make it white and black like a chessboard. My tubes are a little wet. Usually there are no troubles like this with the dry ones but I've painted uh, the black tubes only yesterday. We've inserted the tube, and now we're doing all the same actions, but this time with the black tubes. The poles are rigid, in this case office paper is very good for them. On the example of this square I see that three coils will not be enough, so let's make four. 
Here we will add afterwards. With the first course, we have to choose the best suitable number of the cores for making a square. Put it aside and pass on to the next square. Insert the tube as usual. I don't glue it. It is a bit hard to view with office paper tubes. You can moisten them, but then it will be hard to insert them into each other when lengthening. I've tried weaving with different white tubes made of fax paper, but the color is different, so in this article I've decided not to use the tubes of different quality. I've started weaving with office paper tubes and I continue with them. So we've decided to make four coils. That's all. Notice that the pattern uh, looks neat if we start each square in the same way and all the poles stick out this way from the middle between two poles when we finish the square. And continue this way until we finish the circle. I help myself a little because the black tubes are a bit wet. They get bent well, but get inserted worse because they are wet. When preparing the base, I was making sure that the intervals between the tubes I was gluing were identical. It is important for the squares to be smooth and even, of the same width. So, one, two, three, four. Now the white one and so on. The first row is woven. We are passing to the second one. Lancing the tube. And twine around two next poles as on the chessboard forming the squares. This way. All the same actions, only the black square shifts to the left. To the right, sorry. The number of the poles for this pattern has to be even. And if you weave in one color, then the even number of the poles is all you need. But if you plan to make a two or three colored article, you have to calculate the number of the poles required for alternating the squares of different colors without repetition. So we have to think it over and calculate before starting to weave. Make sure that the poles of the base look up. Four. Pass on to the next one. And this way we continue up to the end of the second row. I've decided that for this article I will form the pattern without zigzags. I mean that the black tubes will shift one square to the right in each row. I propose several possible varieties of finishing the pattern. The first one is to cut the tubes, glue them, fix with a clothes pin, let them dry for a while, and to continue weaving. But when you are pressed for time, I have tried this uh, different variety and I am satisfied with it. 
So you can lift the broken tubes, give your weaving with, and place them into the weaving. Here is a tube, I lift it and plate it into the pattern rope. I'm going to weave two or three rows and then I will cut the remainders. Got it? Now lift again. And plate into the rope like the poles of the base. And this way neatly weave the first row following the pattern chessboard. And continue this way. And in the end I like to sum up with some words. First of all, this pattern requires the even number of the poles of the base. Secondly, it is much easier to weave if the working tubes are soft and the tubes of the base are rigid. Notice that here I was using the office paper tubes and uh, here it was more or less ok, but finishing was rather hard and the edging doesn't come out neat. So I'd like to draw your attention once again to the fact that it is much easier to weave with newspaper tubes. Here you can see the fax paper tubes painted yellow and green. It was convenient to weave. They suit for this pattern perfectly. And this article is made with newspaper tubes, painted black and pure newspaper tubes. And in this case uh, you weave and enjoy it and the pattern comes out neat. So good luck to all of you in mastering this interesting and uh, various pattern. Let me add a couple of words. This pattern is very decorative. Look, you can either drag the stripe straight or weave it in one color like here. Well, here I felt like plain and woven zigzag like, just like in this vertical support for paper. So the decorative opportunities of the pattern are rather various. So try and experiment. Good luck to all of you.